All right, tier lists. It's a very popular trending topic on YouTube right now, you know what I'm saying? Tier lists can be anything. It can be anything about sports, food, movies, like literally anything. But what I have put together today is a tier list of every single Tampa Bay Rays jersey that has ever been worn. Minus like one night promotional jerseys like the St. Petersburg Pelicans or the Tampa Smokers that they only wore once ever. Yeah, we're not doing those. These are Tampa Bay Rays jerseys. So uh, let's get into it. So the first one here is is one of the 2000s road jerseys. Now, these are probably my least favorite of the Rays jerseys. I don't really know where to put this one. You know what? We'll put this at a D. I don't really... You know what? Like, if one comes up on eBay for a reasonable price in the future, I'll buy it just because, you know, I'm a jersey guy. I like to wear jerseys. It's like my fashion almost. And if it's an old uh, vintage Devil Rays, then... You know, I'm going to buy it. All right, so when the Devil Rays first switched to green, this was their first home uniform. It's pretty boring, in my opinion. Um, Although, yeah, I just I don't see much to like about it. This one's also going to be dropped in D. All right, this was a one-night promotional jersey. However, it does say Rays on it, so that's why I put it in here. This was worn once in 1999. This is the Turn Ahead the Clock promotional jersey, and this is one of the hardest jerseys to find. And then when you do find one, you know, one does pop up on eBay, it's $500. So no, I don't own this one, but I would like to eventually. Where does this one drop? I am putting this one in the B tier. It's sort of sleeveless, but I like the uh, futuristic overall look of it. This was one of two alternate jerseys that the Devil Rays wore when they were still green. This one is all green. It's a button up and it just has a logo up in the corner. This one's better than the other green Devil Rays jerseys. I'm going to drop it at C. The next one is one of the most forgotten Rays jerseys. The Devil Rays black jersey was an alternate for, I believe, only two seasons, so yeah, it's pretty forgettable. However, it is one of the nicest jerseys that the Rays have ever worn, so I'm dropping it at B. Next up, you have the sleeveless era of Rays jerseys, where one of our home jerseys was sleeveless. However, the players did wear green short sleeve t-shirts under this jersey, so it looked a lot nicer on the field than it does if you just went and bought the jersey itself. Yeah, this one is not very good looking. It's going in F. I, you know what? There aren't very many bad Rays jerseys, but this is an F tier one. If you want to add the green short sleeve t-shirt under it, then it moves up to D, but, but because this is just the jersey and not the the clothes worn under the jersey, it will drop in the F tier. The other sleeveless jersey that the Devil Rays once wore was the Road Gray jersey. Now, this one is probably even worse. It's going in the F tier. They're not bad, but they are very easy to forget about. And if one comes up on eBay in my size for a reasonable price, I will probably buy it. Just because I'm a Rays fan and that's what fans do. This one might cause a little confusion because it looks similar. It looks identical to this one right here. However, I believe in 2005 they had a minor update to it where they like changed the font and all that shit. So, you know, not a big difference, but it's a noticeable difference if you if you compare them side by side. So, uh, because it's not that big of a difference, I'm going to drop it right next to it in the D tier. Okay, now we are back in the 90s, the first ever road gray Devil Rays uniform. I have this one. It's not my favorite of them all, but you know what? It's pretty nice, so it'll, it'll go in the C tier. It's better than the all green. I like the uh, rainbow a lot better. The current Columbia blue alternate jersey that the Rays wear today. This is one of the nicest jerseys they've ever had, and it is really easy for me to put this in the S tier. This is an elite jersey. It's one of the best in the league, in my opinion. But obviously, that's me because I'm a Rays fan. Now we have the road gray jersey that the Rays wear today. This one has been around since 2008. It's a lot better than any of the other road grays they've ever had, so I'm dropping it in the B tier. Next up, you have the second alternate jersey that the Rays wear today. It is the navy blue and this is arguably the best raised jersey ever you know that's what some fans will say i think the s tier columbia blue is still better than this one but i'm dropping this one at a this is one of the nicest jerseys the rays have ever worn now we have the home white standard raised jersey that they wear today this one's really nice although it doesn't really stick out that much the two blue ones are a lot better that being said i'm gonna drop this one right side by side with with the road gray and the B tier. Okay, now this one, the original 
Devil Rays white home jersey. This is a fan favorite, not only in Tampa Bay, but also throughout the MLB. You know what's funny? I always wear this jersey to the ballparks I go to, whether it's a Rays game or not, and I always get compliments from baseball fans. Not, they're not even Rays fans. I'll have fans of, like, the Cubs come up to me, or fans of the Diamondbacks, and they'll just, they'll just come up and they'll be like, hey, that's a sick jersey. So it is a fan favorite, not only in Tampa Bay, but throughout the league. And it is my favorite Rays jersey that I own. So that being said, this is going right side by side with the Columbia Blue in the S tier. All right, this is a newer jersey and it's a part of the Players Weekend promotion. The reason I decided to put this in here is because we've worn this for two separate seasons. You know, if you want to if you wanted me to put like a, a Stars and Stripes jersey in here or Memorial Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, they only wore those specific designs for one season, so that's not enough for me. This one is a lot more memorable than any of those other promotional jerseys. This is the Players Weekend jersey and it is really really nice. One of my favorites of all the raised jerseys that I've ever seen. This is uh, this is one of the best ones, no doubt about it. That being said, this one is going in the S tier. Okay, one of the most unpopular raised jerseys there has ever been is the 1980s Turn Back the Clock jersey. Now I did uh, ranking my top five favorite raised jerseys video a long time ago, and I and I um, went over the history of the Turn Back the Clock raised jerseys. Well, in 2014, the Rays decided to come up with a jersey they think they would have worn had they existed existed in the 1980s and they came up with this fox back design of light blue and yellow. To me it seems like fans either love it or hate it. There is no in between. Half the fans I've seen love it, half the fans I see hate it. This is personally one of my favorite raised jerseys ever and I'm going to put this one in the S tier as well. Now, it looks pretty similar to the Players Weekend. It's a different shade of yellow and it's a different logo of course, but it is pretty similar and I it is one of my favorites for sure. And of course they had another fox back jersey from the 1980s that they made up. Look, these are some of my favorite jerseys the Rays have ever worn. I don't get why people dislike them. Maybe because of the fact that the Rays have never worn them before. They made it up to make it seem like they existed in the 80s. I don't really care about all that because this is one of my favorite jerseys that the Rays have ever worn. I do like the yellow and light blue better, however, so that's why I will be dropping the alternate version of this Foxback jersey in the A tier alongside the other navy blue jersey. So with all that being said, let me know in the comments below what your favorite and least favorite Rays jersey is. If you want, I, I made this uh, custom tier by myself, so if you want to make your own and send it to me on Twitter or Instagram at Chiefs Rays Bolts, I'll leave a link in the description for this custom tier maker. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. This is what I think are the best and worst race jerseys ever. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.